This is how to plot the average waveform for a set of data sets. In this example, I'm going to find the plot of the average waveform for uh, subject number five from data set one, all of their scene stimuli. So first we need to load the data. So file, load existing data set. Um, these data are on the desktop in the events folder. And I want number, so subject five, and I want to grab all of the scene stimuli. So that's going to be, I'm going to hold command down and click on the ones I want. So N, J, F, and A, those are the four scenes. And I'm going to click open to open those up. Then we can see the four data sets that we uploaded are all right here and that we uploaded four. So to do the plot, we go plot, sum, slash compare ERPs. And this is the data set numbers. So these numbers here, one, two, three, four. And we want to average all of those together. So we're going to do one colon four to do all four of those. This uh, checkbox um, means that it's going to plot the average, which you want. If you also wanted to plot the standard deviation, you can check that. And if you want to plot all of the ERPs um, in these data sets, you check this box. Um, we are not subtracting off any data sets. Um, so if you wanted to find like the difference between two different kinds of stimuli, you could put a second set there, but we're not going to do that. And because we're not doing that, we're not going to plot the difference. So just for display only, we're going to do a 30, pa 30 hertz low pass filter, and that'll just make the data smoother and easier to see. And you want to make sure that this is has wider in the single quotes and then a positive one here, because otherwise it'll plot upside down and that'll just be confusing. So then we click OK, and here is the average for the entire net. And if we wanted to see um, one of these closer, you can just click on it and it'll pop up in a bigger plot and there is the average.